let's jive into the Cleveland Browns. And this is uh this is one of Chris's teams here. It's my boys. Um, it's my boys. Kevin Stefanski in his first season. Uh, they went six and ten last year under Freddie Kitchens. That was not great. Their win total is set right now at eight and a half. To go over is minus 125. To go under is minus 105. To win the division, they are plus 450. Um, look, let's let's dive through some of these stats. Number 14 in offensive yards per play, that 5.6. Number 20 in defensive yards per play, 5.7. Turnover margin was number 26 at negative 0.5. So they gave up half a turnover every single game. Um, if you look at what this team's offense is built like, and you look back at what Kevin Stefanski did with the Vikings. You got two, you know, talented tight ends, and, and the Vikings ran 43% two tight end personnel on the field. So that's that's quite a I bit. Do th- I it, do think the reason they've not traded in Joku is because they are trying to convince him you're going to be on the field. Yeah, you are going, going to play. To play. Yeah. We did not bring Hooper in to take your place. Uh, and on top of that, Nick Chubb can be – I mean, he was second in the NFL in rushing last year. Yes, sir. And he can be – to this offense, what Dalvin Cook was to the Vikings last year. I think he's. I think he's better than yeah. Cook. Um, now the question that we have here, obviously, uh, now one, the offensive line I think is going to be improved from last season. They bring they in Jedrick Wills. Some, they yeah. went and got some big uglies as well. And then they brought in Jack Conklin. So that's a you know pretty big signing for them. Uh, the question is, can Baker improve? Now the offensive line is a big part of that. But I think with Baker Mayfield, if you can get him to improve just a little bit, get him to quit throwing the ball to the wrong colored shirt then you got a chance to be really good. The defense, I mean, they got talent on defense, we, this team, but we know this team it's, is loaded. it's Miles Garrett. Like, it, that's that's the dude. That is the guy. And so, yes, sir. you know, we uh, we shall see uh, what happens here. Now, I it, I, I, I kind of bought into the hype last year. I had them 9-7, and seven, but I was still kind of iffy. I'm still a little bit iffy right now. Uh, Joseph Gomez jumps in and said, will Baker hand the ball off enough is my only question, or will Odell force him to pass over the uh, – force him to overpass the ball? Uh, Odell's not is forcing horrible. him to do anything. Yeah. Odell has been a model citizen since in Cleveland. Yeah, I think Y'all he's been fine. Get off my guy. <laughs> I've got him 8-8. Get off eight. my guy right now. I've, I've got him at 8-8 eight eight this year. Won't um, take this. And I – like, I could see them uh, – <laughs> Monster X Gaming said, I chose Fournette in fantasy yesterday, and yeah. Yeah, that stings. That stings. Uh, I've got them eight and eight. I, you know, I'm I'm iffy because I think that they can be really, really good. But I've seen this over and over from this Browns team, and I just I'm scared of getting bit again. So I'm I'm rolling eight and eight right now. I think they can be improved, uh, but this is a two game improvement, and the schedule sets up okay. It's not awful. You know, there's still some pretty tough games on there, but uh. They're going to be so much more improved than 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 just two games. It's not even funny. Okay. The schedule last year was the single hardest schedule in the NFL. wasn't even close. Um, this team, this is this is the post hype team that you need to get on. They were. We do this all the time. We hype up a team. We hype them up way before they're justifiably should be hyped up, and and we get let down. Listen, they dropped a ten thousand pound weight when they shot Freddie Kitchens in the head and drug his dead ass outside. Okay. That guy, that guy had no business. And, and that, listen, shame on the organization for giving him the job. Okay, I, I questioned it when it happened. I said he's my guy. I'm going to support him. We were two games into this thing. I'm sitting in Cleveland for Game Four. What I tell you, this oh, guy's yeah. done. This guy's got no chance. He's the worst quarterback. He's the worst coach I've ever seen in my life. In my life, of all the years coaching, we've never had a coach be this bad. I called it in game four. I saw it by game two. I said, all my Cleveland friends, you got to give him time. We don't have time. This team is loaded. This is the NFL. You don't get four or five years to rebuild because by the time that happens, all the guys on your team aren't even there anymore. Well, I mean, you see what Jacksonville looks like right now. I mean, it's just ridiculous. They They were minutes away from playing in the Super Bowl, and now that team is dust. All right. Yeah. So, uh, hey, so let me let me, me tell you what Kyle said here. By the way, he said a uh, few injuries to the secondary in camp this week. The losses of Randall and Burnett are those concerning, and the secondary was great, but they couldn't stop the run last year. He said they do have the fourth easiest schedule on paper this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Miles Garrett will be the defensive MVP. That guy is a monster. Have you bet on this guy for for defensive MVP every single? No, just last year and this okay. year. Okay. 
okay? <laughs> it felt just like it's years. been the last three years. <laughs> just two years. And, and dude, his rookie year, I bet on defense rookie year. So just two years, okay? <laughs> and he's a monster. You got a he better is. bet for me? No, you absolutely not. You got a better not. bet? You going to lay all that juice and, 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 and pay the high price for, for Aaron Donald? Be my guest. Knock yourself out. I might take a little Mac. No, sir. Uh, I might. Hey, they bring in Robert Quinn. That, that kind of opens things up. Got him. Some anyway, space. we'll no, talk about the Bears done. in a little bit. We're done. We're done. Listen, <laughs> this team's going ten and six. Last year, I had them going like fourteen and two. Like I bought into the hype and I bought in big. I love my team. I love this team. And finally, they're not a doormat. And I got a little overzealous. I got a little outside of my skis. It's a dude that doesn't get hit on by a lot of girls. And one girl gave him attention, and I was just like, all in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm, I just I fell in love quick, and then immediately I was like, "This is a toxic relationship. I need to get out. I need to get Where's out of the this door." But I got out. I got out. I didn't hate on the team, <laughs> but I publicly called it like I saw it. I said, "This has got to change. This organization has to change." Now I will tell you this: this is the reason they won't be a dumpster fire, okay? Because Stefanski knows, and this front office knows, we got to win. We got to win now. We can't dick around. All right, they're not going to fuck around with Baker. Okay, if Baker is still the Baker from last year and not the Baker from his rookie year, let me tell you what's going to happen. They brought in Case Keenum, who is Stefanski's boy. Stefanski took Case Keenum to an NFC Championship game. All right, I'm I'm telling you, I think he will hook Baker, and I think he'll hook him fast if it's not going, and he will trust this team with a professional grown-up at quarterback, all right? Yes. Now, I'd love for Baker to be an adult this year. Last year, he was a child, okay? I'd love for him to be an adult. If he becomes an adult and he works at his craft, he's going to be really good. He's got a lot more talent than Case ever had. The problem is, is we don't need all-world quarterback right now, okay? We need somebody to lead this team. you got playmakers. Get them the damn ball. Learn to read a defense. And stop being an idiot. Get your head out of your ass. You don't have Freddy Soup Kitchens over on the sidelines keeping you held down and, and, and calling just crazy ass plays that don't make sense and not not releasing the reins and just having too much pride. Just we're just taking this ship all the way down. Okay. You don't have that anymore. You got an adult in the room in Stefanski. You got an adult in the room in the quarterback room with you with Case. Just just be be the playmaker you can be. And, and they're going to be just fine. This defense is going to be so much better because Baker, I trust them to not turn the ball over more. I do think Chubb has a chance to be the rushing leader this year. Oh, yes. I mean, it, he had a chance to do it last year. I mean, if it he wasn't had a chance for Derrick to do it Henry, last yeah. year. And that, yeah, and that was with a team that couldn't throw the football. I yeah, mean, with no, the, with the not were stacking the box on him. Well, and, and with a not very good offensive line. I mean, he. Oh, yeah, with a terrible yeah. offensive line. Not just not good. They were, they, were, they were probably in late 20s, maybe 30th, worst. Yeah, they were they were not good. They were not good. Let's uh let's dive into the comments real quick. Uh, Kyle said Mike McCarthy slightly worse, and then uh, Joseph Gomez said McCarthy has a ring though. Uh, no chance McCarthy's worse than Freddie Kitchens. There's <laughs> nobody in the world. We've had the worst quarterback to ever start 16 games in the history of the league, and that is Kaiser Sose, uh, uh, Deshaun Kaiser. All right, and then we had the worst quarterback to uh, the head coach to ever be able to coach 16 games. One full calendar season, the worst in history, and you're talking like four years of three years apart, something like that. Yeah, that's terrible. It's it's pretty bad. Uh, DFS Bachelor said uh, Garrett is my pick for hardcore champion. Will Garrett channel his inner Mick Foley? Um, <laughs> Mark jumped in on your comment. He said, "Girls, girls, girls." Um, Joseph Gomez said, "If you see a sock puppet, run DFS." And uh, and then Kyle, of course, jumps in. Chris on fire. I love it. And Mark said, "Chris, you got to watch them girls." So <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking. What are you talking about? What is the that's girls a, thing? That, because something? you brought up a, a girl giving you attention for the first time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That happens. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> listen. I don't know. You guys must not have been weird, goofy dudes going through high school and college. <laughs> I was. I, and, and guess yeah. what? Amazingly, none of the girls wanted anything to do with me. There you go. The shock. Well, but now I mean, you've been married what? Ten years? I mean, eleven. Eleven years. Maybe twelve. So. Hey, God, I, I should I should know that. I, I might venture to say that you are happier the than uh, the majority of them. Hey, that's all you need. Just remember the Listen, date. I got a good job. I'm a catch now. Listen, yeah. Everybody, everybody looks like shit when you get older. <laughs> got a good job. I'm stable. Yeah. 